Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a multidimensional healer and I'm located in Chicago, Illinois. I also see people in person. I do these videos to help you on your ascension journey. Whether you're a twin flame or you're ascending, I'm here to help. I have been through all the cycles and I'm capable of helping people really get the deep things healed because we are in that uh, time frame right now. Some really deep stuff is welling up from deep areas. These are actually very deep cosmic root chakra issues. They're not going to be able to be healed very easily by others. I'm a person that is well versed in it. So we could in many ways say that our cosmic timelines are not only collapsing, they are crashing. There is a time compression in place. That means that there is a sense of urgency to get things healed, get your light body integrated, and also to move forward. Now, a lot of people do uh, say to themselves, well, when is the other person going to do this? You have to help them. You have to help them from the inside, not in the physical, not with a phone call. It has to be done through you. And particularly if you love a man, and if you love any of the men in your life, your brothers, your sons, your nephews, your cousins, your dads, your grandpas, anybody, okay? In many ways, we have to be able to funnel in the love that comes from another level in order for these changes that we really sense need to happen because it is time we cannot afford more you know, of this destructive stuff, destructive behavior, self-sabotaging behaviors. It is not just men, but it is uh, what you're seeing are the electric masculine trying to repeat some things and it's not working. Some of the worst things are the karmic balancing that happens where it goes back to them and it makes them sick. So we have to have ourselves all ready to roll up our sleeves and get this healing and integration done and ready. So how will the men, and I put men in parentheses on purpose, how will the men ascend? So we talk about masculine and out there a lot of people throw around uh, initials of DM, which stands for divine masculine. But a lot of them are not divine yet. And, and frankly, a lot of people are not exhibiting their divine sides or parts. There is a difference when we call it divine and when people are actually ascended. Actually ascended people in many ways don't care. They can observe, they can see, they do care deeply, but their methods will be very different. How they deal with it, how they find solutions. That's being ascended, not woke. Woke isn't fixing things. Woke is just getting angry. So what are some of the things that are overloaded? Masculine energy, electric masculine energy likes to structure things out of the chaos. So we have systems. This involves um, getting people help in mental health, mental health issues. What people don't realize is you could talk to someone all day about their mental health. What's actually happening and what happens through the integration of the light body is things are moving into different places. Where your mental capacity is managed from is actually in a different area of your head and it's no longer the frontal lobe. The frontal lobe carries a lot of reactive behaviors, memories of reactive behaviors, memories of karmic things that have happened and it prompts people to repeat this. Instead of being aligned and motivated from a different area and it doesn't even always involve direct reasoning where someone's sitting there saying should I shouldn't I should I shouldn't I it has a life of its own because it takes over because that is the much larger superpower part of you so mental health issues will happen to everyone on this journey but let me tell you something the systems are overloaded and so that means for children, teenagers, they will exhibit things. They will seem to have a breakdown. They'll have tantrums. They will seem like they're going crazy. You may be highly concerned for them. 
Are they going to harm themselves? Are they going to harm others? Okay. I recently was very upset about an article I saw about someone who threatened something, didn't carry through with it, apologized, and he's being publicly pilloried for something he didn't even do because everyone is now so afraid. We're all afraid of each other again. We went from, you know, something where it might have been balanced, but there is more to come out and it needs to come out, but it has to be handled differently. It has to be done through the light body, through your brand new light body. You have to participate in this. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You could get downloads till kingdom come. You could have as many guides and angels. If you are not participating, then you're becoming a part of the problem and not the solution. It's that simple because you're staying put and you're not moving forward. Take one baby step. Take one step forward. Systems are overloaded. If you've ever tried to get help for someone, say in the UK and the United States, there are wait lists. So someone had asked me once, oh, so are you a therapist? I'm not pretending to be a therapist. I am a multidimensional healer to help people heal these deep issues of the psyche that are rooted in there. These are deep. These are deeper than people even realize the root chakra is. We are talking about things that have happened that your mind has blanked out on because you're not supposed to remember every gory detail, but the emotional content is there. The psyche damage is there, and the psyche is a part that you share with your lover, with your real love, not with a soulmate. You could have common trauma bonds, bonds with a soulmate. Your soul wants to set energetic boundaries with these people and all their stuff. So the systems are overloaded because so many people are seeking help for depression, anxiety, without understanding that the mental health issues involve the tissues of the mind, the brain, the spinal cord, the major organs. In some ways, there is no real help. Help can be sort of... Um, there is help, but the real help is through the integration of the brand new body. It's much more expansive, very expansive. So the real help has to come from within you and from above you. Integration means exactly that you're in, you're pulling it in, you're connecting, you're allowing it to pull you up. I was inspired this morning on my walk by um, some leaves. So let me kind of give you an example. So I'm here in Chicago. It's fall already. It's autumn. And I came across this absolutely giant maple leaf. Look at that. This is how it starts. You know, it's this big. Okay, this is you. This is you on planet Earth. This is you when we do multidimensional healing. That's quantum. How much stuff could you push out from your past? How, how many chronic illnesses that came from war and war and war and war? Oh my God, it's exhausting, right? Do you ever wonder why people get so exhausted after, after these big fights, after these big surges of energy, and then you feel exhausted because you're still connected to that collective. Even if you didn't participate, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel the grief, the angst. You're going to feel the pains because they're in there. They're in your teeny tiny little human body, all bottled up, all compressed in there. And this time compression is not helping. How do we get you to a state where you can actually really do some good for yourself first and foremost, your other half, and other people? Like your children, your children have to benefit. Some people are comparing this energy to a rebirthing process, but sitting there going like, when will the men rebirth? Okay, we got to get off of that because females have masculine energy. You have electric and magnetic and males have feminine energy. They have electric and magnetic. And these are energetics tied to people, real people. Here's another one. Beautiful, beautiful leaves. Here's you on planet Earth. Here's you 
in a multidimensional plane where we I'm capable because I have the connections to I'm I'm a bit oversimplifying it does take participation on your part how about all of us we're just told to deal with it right we just got to deal with it you got to deal with all of the feelings of someone entered your cubicle and you feel invaded you can't help that it's a feeling how do you set energetic boundaries do you think that you know doing some of this would help you to set i mean let's put this right here okay look at the outline what kind of energetic boundary is that setting that's a pretty decent one right that takes you beyond deal with it deal with it deal with your finances deal with your crappy family deal with your crappy kids deal with the hand you were dealt no and there are children growing up with this this is what they're seeing you know and some people are saying well generation z they're the last ones they're gonna have to clean up this mess not when it is root that goes all the way back to your ancestry that goes all the way back to your angelic lineage who you really are star seeds are angelics you're from different angelic um, origins you've had different cosmic origins so this is your cosmic and universal level karma that needs healing and fixing and you know you'll have people out there that tell you you don't need to be fixed because you're not broken you have everything in you well everything in you is this this is you and the everything is this got it that's what happens that's how it has to happen so in order to help you because a lot of people they're tiptoeing around these things I am starting a Wednesday, Wednesday night heart group. I'm calling it heart, but let's think about all the other H words. You're hurt. You might feel hatred. You feel hostility from sometimes. And frankly, I had a friend just say it to me. She was in so much pain. Fibromyalgia, she was like, I feel like my fibromyalgia returned. Why? Because everyone's getting on our nerves why she said she said this to me i feel like i'm on the edge between suicide and homicide and bingo people need this people need this there's going to be a link below sign up for it it is a free group now if you want to get intense because we're not um uh we're i'm doing this because i think wednesday night is when people are at the middle of the week and the, the stuff starting to accumulate it's here to help you it's here to help you and the men ascend i'm also doing a class on relationships how to deal with your relationships how to set energetic boundaries and for thanksgiving gratitude love and giving thanks like real thanks because we all have something to be thankful for all of us and getting in that mode of gratitude focusing on the heart gets you away from a lot of those low vibe low energy low occurrences because actually things do happen hatred is leading people to do really dark stuff we are seeing it it's not a joke and we are not here to sugarcoat it it's happening things that i never saw i, I thought would ever happen they're happening and here we are again and I for one pray that my son does not go to it I've told him steer clear of the trouble there's genuine beefs on every side but you know what don't get involved and what I actually said was do your homework in other words focus on you and focus on what you can do focus on what you can do and not what all the other kids are doing. So thank you so much. I hope to see you there. I hope you have a good day. Let's put a little sugar on these topics and get this rolling. Bye now.